Hey everyone, Saturday update, Final Four, March Madness culminates in tonight. Uh, we're going to figure out who's going to play on Monday for the national title in college basketball. We're going to talk about the Duke and North Carolina game. Today, just to let you know, we have a doubleheader involving both games and both my selections are totals plays. One of them is six unit top play. We're 5-0 and in March Madness, our last five with top picks for plus 3,500. That means any pick over, they've been six, seven, or eight unit picks, including an NIT game of the year, the NIT final four. We went 2-0 and for plus 1,000, including hitting a top pick. We're on a 30 and 14 run, plus 6,620 to the good. We're closing out like a lion. So be sure and get over to Doc Sports today and get it done. Okay, click the link in the description below, get a free 60 bucks, and get on board today. We're going to talk about these games, and let's do a little better than the free picks. The NBA last night was absolutely insane. Let's just talk about that real quick. Um, Memphis with nobody wins outright. I mean, unbelievable. Unbelievable. Clippers putting up 153 points. The Lakers... James has 38, Davis off injury has 23, and they lose. That was my premium play. Catching two. I thought maybe if, the, if L.A. was going to ever win a game, you know, that they needed to have, that would have been the one, bringing Davis back and James being well-rested. You know, I know they played the night before, but James and Davis didn't play. Lakers are done. Lake show's over. Okay, they're done. They're not. I'd be shocked if they even got in the play-in. But nonetheless, uh, it was six games left in the NBA season. Anything can happen. There's a bunch of good teams playing each other and a bunch of short lines today. We're going to cherry pick one. We have a four-unit play in the NHL, and we have a four-unit PGA head-to-head -head ready to go in the Texas Open. Now Masters next week. Big show on Tuesday with Doug Upstone. Okay, let's do a little bit better. We've been hitting and missing with these free picks this week. I know you don't like it. Now, bear in mind, when we're talking Final Four, there's not a team in this thing that can't beat the other team. Both underdogs can win outright today. Let alone cover spread. And both favorites can blow, each, blow them out. There's a lot of intangibles involved here. But let's talk about the Duke and North Carolina game specifically. Coaching. Now, whether you like Mike Krzyzewski or don't like Mike Krzyzewski, rat face, ferret face, whatever, this guy, he's the GOAT. He's the greatest of all time. You have to respect it. How many Final Fours has he been in? How many ACC championships has he won? How many national titles compared to North Carolina's head coach? That's a starting point in this game. Avenging a loss for Coach K's retirement party at Cameron Indoor Arena last time they faced him where they allowed North Carolina to hang 94 points on him and embarrass him, actually. Now, that game, a little bit of an anomaly because that was a big buildup. ESPN was there all day long. Coach K's last home game. There's a lot of distractions. All the ex-Duke greats were there. You know, just a lot of distractions that pulled a bunch of 18 and 19-year-old kids away from their focus on the game. That's not going to be a problem tonight. Mike Krzyzewski knows how to coach in games like this. That is a huge part of this handicap. Mike Krzyzewski's teams also, if you take a look at their last two games, against elite defensive teams, Texas Tech and Arkansas, Hung 78 on each of them. North Carolina's got the 280th ranked defense in the country in points allowed. Avenging a loss. Win one for the Gipper. That sort of thing. Duke, minus four. That's your free pick today. Again, we have totals plays in both games for our premium plays over at Docs. Get over there. Now, 
Today, four unit best bets, PGA, NBA, and NHL. As well, tomorrow will be NASCAR. Richmond, we'll be ready for that. We won last week. We're going to get on a roll in NASCAR and get going. Love this racetrack. I haven't lost a pick on the Richmond track in three years. Just FYI. Be sure and tune back in tomorrow. Enjoy the final four. Go get a top play winner. No hype is needed.